Yes, so it's your boy Saba Sonic Tista. You gotta say three times Tista, Tista, Tista. Welcome to my DM podcast, the biggest show on the internet, hands down. You know, we bring you up in close and personal with your favorite artists. We got a special, you know, I don't know, my piano star or, or, or DJ or I don't know what's going on, but we'll get into it. We got Lev's the villain up in the building. My Lev's, how are you, dog? I'm good, bro. You doing? You're fantastic, man. Yeah. I love the drip, dog. Nah, nah, sure. Sure. Cause it's you so pirates. Ah, uh, Melanda Pirates. Ah, dog. My yeah. team, we just, we just, we, I just got the news that we fired Stuart Baxter. Oh, I'm so well. happy, dog. Oh, well, <laughs> you guys have been doing well with him. Anyway. Are you are you happy with Pirates? The I performance? Love, bro, I'm not I'm not much of a soccer fan. Got you. Um, I'm just the Orlando Pirates guy because you. obviously um, my granddad who raised me. Oh yeah. Is a, uh, raised me as an Orlando Pirates. Yeah. Pop, um, Supporter, supporter. So I've been since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't tell you the player's name, the coach. <laughs> where they sit. Dog, I might just call off to Jukaza Chiefs. Ah. I know, I know we suck right. Hey, but Sundowns is killing it. Dog. Uh, they've been. Yo, Sundowns is killing been, it, yeah. dog. <laughs> dog, let me know. Um, before we get into the music, what type of chats do you hate the most? Like, just you know, trying talking. to hear these. Yeah, talking chats with people. Ah, uh, bro, like I hate talking business at Groove. Really. Yeah, bro. Why you but you're a to DJ, me? dog. Why you want to talk to me when there's like loud music around <laughs> and like, trying to propose something? Like, I hate that shit. I'm here to have a good shit. time. You understand? <laughs> people are dancing, people are moving. Got Yo, you. bro, I got this proposal. I got this nah, proposal. Nah, nah, Yo, nah. I got this mixtape you yeah, got to nah, check nah, out. Let's not do that. Oh, yeah? Because it annoys the shit out of me. Because, like, now you're talking, then the DJ drops a hot song and we yeah. want to dance. Nah. Rather <laughs> set up time outside of that. But I also hate, like, chats about. Um, I don't know, man, you know, about like the typical DJ chats of hands and okay. stuff like that. It's like, oh, come on. When, when amongst DJs, talking about that, amongst DJs, what do you, what do, when you're with other DJs, you know, what do you guys talk about in the game? DJs in the game, you yeah, know what I mean? Um, it depends, it depends um, who sparks the, uh, the, 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 the chat. The chat. Because Got you. I always, like, when I speak about, to other DJs in the industry, I always speak about the game. You Got know? you. And it's always DJs who've been in the game longer than I have been Got here. You. Um, who can obviously, like, shed some light and, Got like, you. tell you the real game. Got you, know, you. How they move and how they've been here for so long. Got you. Um, but usually the younger guys, man, are just more about the fun about stuff. About the fun stuff, know? right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Besides yourself, give me your top two favorite DJs. Top two favorite DJs in the world or in South Africa? Anyone, my nigga. Um, I, I probably have to go with uh, Tiesto. Tiesto has been okay. one of my um, favorite DJs. Not not um, just only as a DJ, yeah. but as like a businessman as well. Yeah. And I'd say Black Coffee, bro. Because okay. It makes sense, you know. You know what I mean? Like, is that is that a um, Grammy Award, bro? South African story. Yeah. You know that has shown most of us that like there's there's no limit. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like what Black Coffee did for the game, I think he spotlighted, you know, South African music, South African DJing on the spotlight. Yeah. Um, trick question: What does MTN abbreviation stand for? MTN. Yeah. Um, Welcome to my DMs podcast. Uh, I asked you if you watched the show. Yeah. I, I, I was very honest with you. I was like, this is probably going to be the first show I watch. Got you. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't even want to guess. Um, but I know the instance for network. Yeah. Um, okay, that's one out of three. Yeah, and then um, I think that. T stands for telecom. Okay, or two out of three. Yeah, and, and let's get the last one. At the top of my head, um, multi-purpose, multi. No. Ah, come on, dog. Nah. Uh, yeah, well. It's mobile. Oh, mobile. Yeah, oh, yeah mobile yeah, and yeah, telecom yeah. network. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got Makes the sense. two though. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the club situation when it's great, crazy. You know when you're trying to groove in the club. Uh, when was the first? What age did you have your first drink at? I don't drink, bro. You don't drink? Yeah. I don't Why don't, don't you drink, all? dog? Ah man, I, I grew up in the township of Tinas So cool. most of the trauma that came from uh, childhood da, was because you. niggas were drunk. <laughs> 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 you know, because um, yeah, bro, like yeah. Any, uh, any any trauma or any events that were unfavorable that I gotcha. can think about when I was a young kid, gotcha. it was always because. But somebody, villain, you can't tell me you've never had drank. a drink, not ever, ever in your no, life. Oh man, dog. bro, I mean, like right now, you know, when we have those chef cuisines, you know, okay, those seven you. meals with a gotcha. glass of wine, glass of wine, because it gotcha. makes sense with the steak. Aye, you understand? Aye. Those are the kind of things that we 
we usually drink but like yeah yeah man i've tasted a couple i've tasted your remy martin's okay yeager my stuff yeah. i've tasted but yeah. i don't drink you don't you don't do it on, yeah. the, on the on the often yeah. you know what the streets say the streets say if you're not if you don't drink you're into girls mm. You chow bums. So are you are you a bum guy or, or because I mean hey, you gotta de- if it's, if it's not if it's not if it's not if it's not liquor <laughs> yeah it's weed yeah if it's not weed, weed then it's bums. Yo bro, if you see my girl then you definitely know it's the bums. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about your girl, how long you been with your girl, bro? Ah, uh, long enough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What took so long enough? You ain't gonna do that. I just think it's skinny. You ain't gonna do that. Are you slippery? You slippery. But long enough, man. Trust. Okay. Um, how do you ask for sex from your partner? You don't, bro. Um, What do you I mean you don't? You don't ask. I think it should be natural. You just no, activate. No, no, I think I think it should be natural. Okay. Understand? What like, does natural I think, mean? I think um, it, uh, it gets to a point where you know what uh, you know what mood your partner is gotcha. in. You know, and you know when when to step back. You know, okay. understand? Like, okay. especially if you've been with someone for as long as I have, you know, good. I this is not the time or whatever. You know, 100. unless if you really, really want to be like. Yo, can I have? You yeah. understand? But you know what gets your partner going. She knows what gets you going. Yeah. Sometimes you're not in the mood. You understand? Yeah, so, yeah. um I think the asking part is no longer the verbal, okay. but more of the pick up on moods and okay. uh, conversation like I try kissing her and she says, okay. "Nah, you know she's not in the mood." Okay, you nah. back, you understand? Okay, now nah, yeah, Vinny, yeah, yeah, I see you. Yeah. I see you play a player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you play a player. Um Hey, I want to ask you this question, but I have to. Nah, just drop it. <laughs> drop, drop it. So when you're club, ladies yeah. showing you love, you know, you want to come up beat, you got a song coming up, you know, uh, 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 you're working with Bote and Kogo, you know, your, your, your Instagram popping. How do you how do you handle the the, the groupie love, the, the ladies' love, you know? Yeah. yeah, how do you handle that? Yo, bro, take all of it in, bro. Take you know what I mean, my you, nigga? You, you got you to take, take it in. in. You know what I mean? Because, bro, one thing I can tell you, man, There's nothing as supportive as a female. Got like you. Women are very supportive. Hella. And if if they they see that you authentically accepting their love and accepting Hella. how they love you through what you do, Hella. they do more for you. Got you understand? You. Got you. Like the the people who come to my events, majority of them are women. The Oof. people who buy my tickets, majority of them are women. So the people who stream the music, majority of them are women. 100%. Understand? So you need to understand that women actually carry the PR of the game. Bro. Yeah. So don't act all fresh and yeah. like. They're trying to show you love take it all in because yeah. it's not gonna last forever with my camera and by the way when we talk <laughs> about women ladies thank you so much for supporting this podcast um yeah, quite surprisingly amazing. dog like we were looking at the analytics with my director and about 60 of the people that subscribe to this podcast and watch this podcast are female so yeah shout out to all you beautiful Bro, ladies like, holla at your boy sabasana underscore t on twitter and on instagram <laughs> that's what, that's, it's, 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 it's natural for them to yeah. be supportive you Got understand you. so I always say, bro, whoever, when I, I always make time when I'm at a gig and women are showing me love, yo, bro, take them pictures, you know, yeah. laugh with them, share their jokes, listen to their stories. You gotcha. don't know when they were introduced to you. You, gotcha. you understand? So, yeah, I'm that guy. You're cooking something with Durban Gogo? I don't know. Like, I heard I'm a him, him. You know, what, what's happening? What's no, happening? No, what's no, happening? We already cooked it. I know. It's already baked. I okay. It's at the, It's at the shop. It's right at the now. shop right yeah, now. You know what I mean? Possible, bro. It's But I heard possible. something. Is there something part two? I don't know. Am I hearing things or hey, is man. there justification around that? Hey man, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never But know. how was the Durban Gogo experience, bro? I mean, she's she, she, she's um, she's popping, bro. She's yo, hot. Look, I, I, if there's one thing, if there's one person I really need to thank is 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 Gogzin, bro. You know, okay. I, I think um I've been at the at the background of Ama Piano okay. for a very long time. You know, really, bro? Producing music for Folka. And okay major league oh yeah um a couple of other artists as well and okay gogo was the first person that came to me and like said, yo let's go to the front of the camera you need to be in front right got now you. because of how talented you are as a producer got you and um like you really made some people's hits you got understand? you got so, you and that's how possible came came to light aye, you know? and um, mosa and i as well as optimistic band music got all you. those guys came together worked on the music got and you then, possible was there so oh, um dope. working with gog is really like she's really a dope person yeah she's as funny as her previous oh cheats. yeah because <laughs> she's wild on the tweets dog Trust and me, she's wild she's, on the tweets she, dog. she's as funny as as those tweets got you. personally especially when you have a personal relationship with got her you. so yeah yeah i want to ask you this dog um you know how 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 influential is hip-hop on my piano 
Um, Jo, I think we have enough for me now. I always use the Kasi as my reference because that's where I grew up. Bro. Got you. Um, hip hop yako Kasi was quiet. Got you. you. When we started off, yeah, it was quiet. It was quiet. Hundred percent. Abo my papu. Abo my papu. Abo yo. Abo kabe. Dog a lot. Abo zola. Abo yo. There's a lot, dog. We used to rap. Yeah. Word for word. Word. Got you. Actually, dog kabe was a rapper. Exactly. Like this, 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 like. Exactly. Like yeah. It has reinvented itself in Amapiano piano Got because you. now, uh, like if you look at DOS, dog, DOS is basically what Kwaito was Got years you. ago, but Got now you. reincarnated. Got you understand? You. Got you. So I really feel like hip hop played a huge role yeah. because at the time um, it was like lyrical content. Yes, you sir. Know, the the lyrical content was what they used to to um, highlight the social economical issues of the country got you. the political landscapes all of that stuff got you, you would hear it in squatter camp you know that rap about all those issues that got people you. are facing and Kwaito would also do the same thing like if you listen to your <laughs> Arthur Mafukati yeah. don't call me the K word don't call me K word got there you was, there was re- re- we're on the internet dog yeah. you can say Kafir uh, you know what I mean got you got you for respect for myself yeah yeah as, got you as, got as, you as got a you. black man 100% um, I, I'd never like to der- derogate uh, to use a, such a yeah. derogative term for myself but essentially that was what um, Kwaito and hip hop was, was back about. then got so you. right now it's coming back in a way where Amaroto are landing on Amapiano and still and rapping in, in the Kwaito got format you. Toss is doing the same thing in the Kwaito format got so you. hip hop played a huge role right? in Amapiano bro right I'm, I'm dog I'm so I'm so happy that, uh, that Amapiano DJ said that because you know there's this antagonism between Amapiano and hip hop and I think I think we should embrace each other and real talk we are embracing each other yeah. so I don't think there's a problem how is it working but with correction, vocal okay sorry. I'm not I'm a piano DJ. Okay, let's correct that. I'm a DJ. You're a DJ, period. I'm a DJ. I'm a producer. I'm a creative. So I can play uh, Afro Take today and play I'm a piano. You know tomorrow. why? You know what's the confusing part? And I think for a lot of our viewers, because before you came, we had a poll. I don't know on my DMs uh, yeah. podcast page. Shout out! Look at my DMs podcast on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, most people thought you were my piano DJ because most of the songs, but were in that realm. But now it's it's most of the songs that popped. Got you. You understand? Got you. Most of the big songs that I've done are my piano, piano songs. Got you, but got that you. does not box me in the oh. genre. I can wake up tomorrow and start making off a beat. So dog, you can I mean yeah, if you're saying that, can you can you hip hop DJ, you know, some some Bro, you know? I've, I've 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 been playing since I was twelve. Got you. There's many genres that I've tried throughout my career that I know I can I can do today, but I focus on dance music. Got you. you understand? Got you. So I'm a DJ. Gotcha. You understand? So, so because when you say I'm a piano, it boxes you, come, you. And then you come to a gig and you hear me playing. Play my piano. Like, ah, and know what's, what's going on with going on with nah, villain now. Nah. Exactly, it's a box. Got you. So I don't like being boxed, especially as a creative. Bro. Got like, you. I'm a creative guy, so um, I don't like being boxed. I do crazy shit. Beautiful. I think that's that's clear to the to the viewers, and I think viewers, you heard it. He's a DJ. He's a dance DJ. On that, bro, how was it working with Volker, my nigga? Like, Volker? Yeah. Yo, dog. the Volker story was interesting, man. Um, the Volker story was interesting. I think um, I was close with, um, I'm still still cool with Major League, right? Okay, got you, got so you. So we used to pop in and out to the Major League studio. Studios, got you. There, you know, got especially you. when they used to do the gardens. Yeah. We used to help a lot with the gardens okay. events. Um, okay. My friend Junior and I. Got you. So one day, pop into the Major League studios, bah, Volker's there. Volker's there. He's rapping and stuff like that. And got I'm like, you. yo, bro, I make beats. It's like, oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Exchange numbers. I got you. And then, you know, as, as long as you come to the house and say it's Lebs at the gate opens, yeah. you understand? Got you. So one Oh, that's the yo. Where my camera at? Just say Lebza, the villain, and the gate opens at the major league match. Here. You know what I'm saying? Only on my DS podcast, nah, baby. Only if it's Lebza, you understand? <laughs> so yeah, man. I mean, one day I went there and um, it was Falcon myself in studio. Got you. And he's like, "Yo, I'm looking for more music, more beats. Um, what can you do?" And I was like, "Um, I can do music. Um, I'm not gonna do the typical sound that you used to. Yes, sir. But I'll do something different. And Beautiful. I told him that I can do the Kwaito style of Amapiano. Yeah, and, that's and how he fits I, in perfectly. Yeah, like that. that's how I created the overload beat. And I sent it to him on WhatsApp. Right, I sent it to him on WhatsApp asking him to be crazy. like, "Yo, um, please verify this beat." The next day, there were lyrics on the beat. The, the beat was that. Overload. Yeah. Overload. Overload. Ah, that actually is sick, like, dog. Okay, great. You yeah. know, so that's how the relationship with Foka started. Okay. Um, very uh, uh, mutual, um, and also just based on creativity. The vibes were. Yeah, the vibes were correct. Right? Yeah. 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 Bro, 
what you know you've, you've got your song out with Durban Gogo what 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 are we cooking this year what what's the plan yeah, what's yeah, the strategy um, yeah so i just dropped an ep man you know um, yeah. i dropped an ep it's called nanini nanini there's a track called social on there it features got you. Sinom, Sona, and yes, sir. Sauce. Um, it's been doing well on South African radio. Got you. Um, it's been doing well in Kenya as well. It's oh been yeah. Doing well in Tanzania. Are you gonna? Um, yeah, you head up tours that side. Oh like well, gigs, I mean, tours. The music needs to pick up first. Of you course. Understand? It will make sense when the music okay. is, is, is established it's in that, those you. in those markets. Then you can actually go there. You know. So um, yeah, I dropped the EP called Nanini. There's a actual actually the title track of the EP Nanini mm-hmm. features Mkosa Nadota, Azana, Mosa Keys, and TBO on the ep as well so like yeah check it out um for now that's what we're doing bro. that's what we're you're doing the music uh yeah. music video yeah. lifestyle yeah 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 yeah. so is the next music video that's coming up we actually short i should i should get like um uh, a drafted edited version okay by, by i don't know when this is dropping but <laughs> yeah soon. i got you um, got and you then, um yeah definitely so and then what the other music, music video we drop what, 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 what's the other plans i think music? once we've dropped Sosha, the music video okay we'll, we'll know where we're sitting in terms of working on other things oh yeah other music videos on the on the ep oh yeah yeah yo man director daryl my director he does this entire podcast <laughs> Bro. You know what I mean? He shot. He shot so oh, he shot. Yeah. Hey, I'm sleeping on you, my boy. But how come you don't tell me these things? How come yeah, nah, I'm not at the music video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, oh, were, yeah? they were the ones that, saw, uh, that shot Sasha actually. So, ah, got yeah. you. I think this is how I landed on this bad class. Got you. Yeah. Where my camera? You see how embarrassing it is. My director don't even tell me about music videos, but it's high. I love you, dog. You know what I mean. <laughs> Lives the villain. What does the villain stand for, bro? Ah, uh, bro, the villain is. I love that, by the way. It's basically just that, man. It's 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 a guy who doesn't um take who's not um governed by society rules. Yeah. You know, it's a guy who does what he wants whenever he wants. Got you. You know, it's basically um the the black sheep. Got you. You know, but in in this sense, it's like I do what I want musically. Got I do you. what I want. As a DJ, I'm not in a clique. I'm not in a movement. Got I'm you. in my own lane. You're on your own lane. That's what I do. You're anti the system. Yeah, you yeah. know, anti system, anti. You gotta schema these people got to you. make it this way. Ish, dog, know? and this job is saying what scheming niggas, nah, dog. Nah, nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that, fuck that shit, man. Me, dog, I don't scheme nobody, what's, dog. What's, what's destined yeah. for you is not predetermined by any human got being you. on earth. Bro. Got you. Understand? You so, know what's the craziest shit, dog? And I'll let you finish that thought. Is that you know I'm from Bloom, dog. And you know when you get to job here. A lot of these Joba cats think they're really cool, like they genuinely think they're really cool. And, you know, you get a bit of that pushback because you're not from here. You might not dress a particular way. You might not sound a particular way. And I've always been like, you know what? I'm just going to mess with people that mess with me and I'm going to keep it pushing. And as long as the energies and the vibes are correct, we go. And, and, and that's how this podcast yeah. came about. Yeah, but also, bro, I don't think it's a it's a Joba nigga thing, you know. Um, I, I just think it's just... Uh, um, it's just the people's thing okay. because essentially, though, if you think about it, none of us are really from Jova. Gotcha. You understand? Yeah, some of us might have grown up here, but gotcha. like, um, you know, your mom's house, your mom, your grandmother's place, or where you actually from gotcha. is there in Limpopo, Limpopo or Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. You understand? Gotcha. So, so we all in the land of gold, trying gotcha. to hustle and stuff. But also, there there are many. Um, clicks you know there are mm-hmm. many of we together here we're and together, if you're not yeah. with us then you know we're not gonna work with you and essentially bro kudos to them and kudos to everybody who does it but for me it's like i want to work with anybody anywhere from anyhow gotcha. you understand it shouldn't be because we're well, nah, not out or spinal bone now nah, if they don't want to work with you that's cool bro that's you cool, understand bro. And no bad no bad blood some of them i look up to them you gotcha. know i look up to the music you make i, I think you're really talented gotcha. but also shout out it's okay it's cool i'll gotcha. do my own things you know gotcha. and no matter how long it takes bro i own all my shit gotcha. you understand so gotcha. that's just that's just the mentality i've always had with everything how do you get verified on instagram Yo, bro, I think you hit up you hit up Instagram, bro. <laughs> did you hit up Instagram? I think my manager did. Because <laughs> uh, that thing of take a picture. Hey, take a picture. Doesn't it work, doesn't work, dog. That thing of take a picture it on Instagram, upload. <laughs> ah, they're scamming y'all niggas. It's a scam. That Instagram is scamming us. <laughs> Instagram, I'll let you boy verify. But I don't want. I don't want to be verified. No, but I think what, I happens, want to be what happens is um you you obviously build a portfolio for yourself okay, and who cool. you are as an artist or as a as a brand then you send that 
um, portfolio to Instagram gotcha. and and request that can this be verified? Please be verified because gotcha. though, I got to a point where I was having like three other lives of the villains dog on the thing ah. and these niggas are like posting my mixes and yo, posting my shit and some of them are getting my bookings yo no you like ah oh, god do what's like, going on no, no I gotta get gotta verified and, I gotta um, get verified yeah bro like but also bro I think um essentially this the social media validation that everybody's dying for mm-hmm. that's just draining bro. really dog yeah I think what do you mean draining it's draining because like there's no authenticity anymore bro okay like, you just because you got verified, we're not got put you. out. You are in. You are in. We, we yeah, we in. I like hey, bro, you. Come yeah. on, bro. Like, uh, there's social media. As much as social media has become such an important part of got you. being an artist got and you. being a brand, it also like is such a fickle space. It's a very in, fickle so, space, bro. Right? Like, just because I got verified, nah. it's a big thing. Now you understand? Bro, yeah. it's like, yo, bro, you don't even listen to my EP. Got you. And you but you're telling me like I got, got I got verified on Instagram. And like, dog, if I if I if I could share my two cents about, I think half of the mental issues in the industry. Are caused by the social media thing. Um, uh, I'd 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 agree and disagree, bro. You know, um, and I'd disagree because essentially everybody goes through stuff outside of social media Got that you. they never speak about speak and about. they Got never you. show. Got you. you understand? So Got you. I don't think social media is purely to blame for that. Got you. Um, but on the other hand, I do agree with what you're saying because it might accelerate it's, certain things. It's, it's it's those kind of things that where people would then you know like judge their own life and how they moving based on somebody else because of what they see on the socials you know gotcha. because your brewer who you went to school with or um somebody who's younger than you doing 10 times better than you or whatever yes, or showing whatever they're showing on mm. social media might make you feel like you are not doing half of the job that you currently doing but i also feel like those are some of people's uh, personal insecurities got you. you know but essentially bro mental health goes bigger than social the media. social media <laughs> you know, yeah. it's bigger than that got bro. you it's, it's bigger than what you what people may may think it is because bro being being somebody who was also in a dark space mentally at got some you. point social media had very little to do with where i was got you you understand it was just my surroundings and how things were at the time you yes, understand sir. so um, yes, it, it has it, it plays an impact, but also no because it's not entirely that. Okay. Yeah. Got you. My DMs podcast on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Cybersonic underscore taste on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter. Killer. I mean, blah, blah, what am I fucking saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Villain. Yeah. Um, I want you to look straight into the camera. There's the camera. Two questions you've always wanted to ask your fans. A fans. Yes. Two questions. It's your moment, bro. Yo, that's if I've got fans out there. Of course you got fans. <laughs> <laughs> you see this nigga numbers. You're like, yeah. Question number one. Um, what makes you look up to me? I like right. that. Yeah. I like that. And then question number two. What makes what do you see in me that you see in yourself? Ooh. my dms podcast we're gonna post i want you to answer that question those two questions on the comment section you know comment and subscribe to my dms podcast 